Hello? Um, I... It is what it is. I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> it's not really the thing. It is, it is, it is or it isn't. And I mean, you kind of know that by feeling, by, you know, all that you've learned and been taught that it's going it, to... See? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll do that, but you know, you know a house song when you hear a house song. You know what that means. You know what that's about. You know what that is. And, and it's not some mystery. Though it may be slightly undefined in people's um, parameters, what they consider to fall inside of that house lot timeline or whatever, it may shift a little bit or be a little different to someone else's. I mean, there's still a lot of give and take, and there's a lot of leeway to be um, administered when it comes to defining that. I mean, basically, you know, more or less, it's a 4-4 kick, but then there's broken beat and, you know, other things that kind of uh, deviate from that a bit. Um, you know that generally, it's going to have a bass line. Mr. Williams, what's your perspective on that? Well, being um, a bit older than Mr. Carter. <laughs> sorts of music that a person like Mr. Carter and Mr. King took underground, which is an underground movement. Mm -hmm. The music that is played commercially, um, they, they developed uh, house music here in Chicago, period. Okay. They're responsible for it. It's a Chicago bird thing. Therefore, all the music that people play the DJs play, right, I should say. Um, and they manipulate this music to an underground scene which uh, attributes it to be house music, no matter what type of music it is to me. Okay, I, uh, it could be part of Beethoven or whatever. It's how they present it to the public. But basically, I think it's just underground. Now, Mr. Younger King, <laughs> uh, well, you think this is an easy question, what, what is house music, and I actually like Eric's answer, it is what it is. Um, you know, from the birth of it, I look at it as there are sort of like two strands of, of house or house music. Um, a lot of us first started hearing the term house, uh, obviously in reference to, to the warehouse that Robert Cohn and, and Frankie E.J. So at, at a certain point, people would hear a certain record, uh, Your Love by Jamie Principal, one of the records I, I played here at the end there. Uh, and, and Frankie was playing Your Love for years off of a real to real and a cassette tape before it was ever pressed into a record. But you would hear those records and you'd associate them with the warehouse and you would say, that's house, oh, that's house. And, and so really, Arguably, Frankie was not playing house music at the warehouse, but the term house um, entered the lexicon during that time. Um, so he was playing, you know, everything all over the board, as, as Robert suggests, and we all were from B-52s, we played a lot of punk out stuff, we played all over the, all over the map. Um, but a, a lot of that was disco, but it was, it was more underground disco. You know, it, it, it wasn't Donna Summer, uh, necessarily, or if it was Don Summer, it was Sunset People. It wasn't Bad Girls or Hot Stuff. Uh, or, it was, or, it, or it was Tom and Gardner. It was, it, was, it was underground disco artists. So, but we started using that term house in reference. Now, the, the second strand to me came along, you know, in the 83, 84, 85, what I call Chicago House. I refer to that as Chicago House, and that's you know, guys in their house using drum machines for rudimentary equipment and really trying to recreate this, this kind of live music that we were hearing at the warehouse and other places. Um, so there's a, there's a Chicago house movement, you know, arguably Jesse Saunders, one of the children too, had the first, um, arguably, 
Chicago House record. Chippy would tell you, no, he didn't. I had it uh, with, with Like This and with the Jack Tracks EP. But, you know, it, it's Farley, it's Steve Still Curly, it's, it's uh, Jamie Principal, you know, that whole crew that started a, a second movement of what I refer to as Chicago House. So, you know, people can be having a conversation about house music and talking about two very different things, and that's just two strands of it. Um, but that's sort of my, the way I look at it from a historical yeah, that's hard for me because there's a lot of people who call themselves DJ. <laughs> <laughs> and there's people who I consider just record players. <laughs> <laughs> DJs to me are, are musicians, people who teach you things. Okay. Um, I have a lot of friends like these two in this place, this one right here. I listened to him a week ago, and I was like amazed. Okay. Um, <laughs> the DJ. Okay, I'll put that in. I think the DJs of today, the house DJs, the house music people, who are DJs, who are record players, who I consider record players. Um, the focus to me should be you guys, not themselves. Right. A lot of these people who consider themselves DJs or whatever they want to consider themselves, record players, uh, <laughs> they're more focused on their own personal um, distribution of music than to teach you about music in itself. I've learned music from Mr. King, I've learned music from this guy. When I go out, I'm old school. So therefore, playing an old version doesn't hurt my feelings at all. <laughs> but I would like to learn about the newer things that you produce and do. So in the house music world, I enjoy people who teach me different things. Unfortunately, I come on the south side of Chicago, it's like a music desert. You know, we don't have that. It, it needs to be uh, developed. Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I will say in response to that, I mean, one, one of the issues that Chicago has, or at least the south side of Chicago has, um, and, and, and Robert's an old school guy, but you know, you got to play it right for Robert you know, and me and others. Um, but a lot of guys on the south side in particular just have not been able to get out of that mode, um, as Darlene knows lately. Um, so, you know, that, 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 that's a new struggle as a DJ, you know, where you can play new music, where you can get away with it, um, and, 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 and where you can. And part of the not even part of, probably the best thing about being a DJ is like hearing something new, discovering something new, or you know, going down the gramophone or, or whatever it was back in the day, uh, imports, et cetera, and just digging. And it's that search for, for new hot music that for me, and, and I think most DJs that are pas passionate about it, I mean, I, I can't, I, I love all that old stuff. I love that stuff I was playing earlier, but I, I can't play that. You know, I've been playing it for 30 years, 25 years. My wife is nodding. I've been playing it for 30 years. Uh, so it, it's nostalgic and it does bring back good memories, but, it, you know, I, I wouldn't want to be a DJ if I can't get the hottest record that's out this week and, and play that for some people. I mean, that's just, that's, that's crucial. That's what it, it always was for me. It's like finding something hot. Like, to find something hot. And, and that's the kind of passion that, you know, makes you walk out in front of Jeffrey Club up and down the street three or four times because you hear something. I mean, that's the kind of thing that, you know, I worked at Imports, et cetera, for like two years, when I was in the, in the uh, park garage. And the, the best thing about that was every week we'd get our either 
promo pack from all the distributors. There's like, you know, Watts, Ice, like bunches of distributors. Gherkin would bring stuff over, pass. Um, and we'd listen to it. We'd have meetings. And sitting there, and like the excitement when you have a stack of new records, like this big, and then all of a sudden you get a phone call because they just got something new in, they played over the speakerphone, and you're sitting there like craning your neck trying to hear everything. I mean, that was, that was the, the best thing about it. And then also, and I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but being somewhat fearless when you have these products at your disposal and you walk into a room and people are like, you know, Chicago is, it's hard. Chicago is like make me dance. Like you, you people will look at you. This is gonna come up in my house and try to teach you something. But you have to be fearless. You gotta just stride and roll. And then if you once you get them and you see that gap, then like I told you. <laughs> But yeah, that, that passion and like, like sitting in those meetings and having that music available and you're just like, ah, and like you couldn't wait. And literally, even imports, I worked the gramophone for a while too. Like we do our orders on Monday and all the new stuff would come in on Thursday. And you would not believe the number of vultures that would just circle, right? Because they knew it was New Record Thursday. They would just be like walking. Walk out and get a coat, come back in, have a smoke, whatever, like walk around and just like wait to wait till the box is open. And then you start stopping the walls and then like ducking. I mean, it, it, it was crazy at one point. But I mean, that's the kind of thing that I think is missing in a huge way now with DJs because they just want to be DJs. You know, they just want to be, they just want their name somewhere. They just want to be recognized or... You know, they want to make a career out of it. Where like I didn't I didn't even know that that was an option. Like you could have a career as a DJ. Like what is that? You know, I went to school. I had dreams of being other things. I'm not gonna go into it. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, my parents like struggled so that I could go to a good school and have dreams and the possibility of making those dreams come true. So being a DJ was yeah, to this day, I mean, my dad is, <laughs> he's not so on board, but he's all right because I don't ask him for money. So, <laughs> there is that balance that we've reached. But um, it, 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 it's, it's a different thing now. You don't get DJs, at, I don't say that, I don't want to say that. Generally, a lot of DJs that I meet don't have the passion for the music. They just want to do the lifestyle. They want to, you know, drink champagne and, you know, with sparklers in the bottle and stuff like that. <laughs> go crazy and, I mean, it's, and, it's, and it's cool, but, I mean, the music is, that's what's coming at you at like 120 decibels. That's what, like, when you walk into a club, what is thumping in your chest and what hopefully has brought you here. Uh, and that's what should be, I think, uh, a huge part of what you do your job for and should be about like the music, do the music, make the good music, play the good music, do it fearlessly, get out there, you know, show and prove, teach a little bit. If you don't have it, then like whatever, go do something else. You know, I mean, <laughs> seriously, you know, don't clutter up the field and trick people into thinking that this is what it should be when it's not. Like good music, bottom line, foundation. Then you can build the rest of it up from there. But as far as the DJ, that's my that's my thing. I want to play some good songs. I want to hear these good songs really now. And that's what I go to to work to do. I'm like, this is a good song. I'm gonna play this loud, and they're gonna love it. And then when they do love it, I'm like, yes, this is great. You know. And you have a series of those moments, and you string them together, hopefully over the course of the evening. And when it's all done, and the lights come on, and you see the sweat and you know, the kids are just like, Ooh. you know, and you're like, all right, cool. You know, I can go home now. And it's all good.
a contribution to the house music and dance music arena because a long time ago, those were my goals also was to bring different cultures of people living ways of life and people together.